in 2005, uh, British Red Cross offered me the position in Sri Lanka, in Batiglova, as to, to provide assistance to the people who were suffering from the tsunami disaster. Mm -hmm. And while working with them, uh, ICRC just asked me to, to help ICRC to provide the people who were affected by the conflict, which started during that period of time. So in 2006, I joined ICRC on loan from British Red Cross, and I've been working in the region Wahre, where there were around 70,000 displaced, and we were assisting them. In between, we were also doing uh, difficult activities like body transfers because of the severe fight between LTT and the Sri Lankan forces, armed forces. So in Sri Lanka itself, my first mission in ICRC. Several times I was with the protection team and been in in the in the both sides, to the LTT side as well as to the Sri Lankan Army side, been taking bodies from one place to another, handing over. The main say the interesting part is when we take to them the families of those people who died, they are so happy that they can do the rituals and bury the bodies, rather than leaving them into the open wide. So even I have dug up bodies after five days and moved them to the army side. There was one point uh, when we went inside a place where there was a bombing. It was a camp. And what we saw is many people charred out, you know, completely. The whole area was devastated. I had to go and see whoever has life, we used to take them and put in a stretcher and take them. So even you, that time you don't think about, oh, this is going, I cannot watch blood, I cannot watch. Because to save life, you need to give everything. Make up your mind, go and do it, and nothing is going to stop you. It's very challenging because it's, there were 27 groups when I was there in Darfur. All different groups, bandits in the field, and you are in the field. I was spending 20 days in the field. Without, there is no hotel, there is no place. I've been sleeping under the mosquito domes in the open. And nothing happened to me. We were there to support the people and the people will support us. Only in the last Three days before my departure from Darfur, I was stopped by bandits. For almost two hours, I was at one point. They looted everything in the club. It happened. So, there should be a bad luck at some point. So, if you are in the wrong place at the wrong time, you can get that. With EcoSec, I've been very at ease because my previous experiences used to give me a lot of facility in the program side. So I was doing always assistance and support. So it was very easy for me to do that. After EcoSec, becoming a protection was quite tough because suddenly I was asked to do protection. So to get into the shoes of protection delegate, it took me some time to adjust and then I, I could manage it. The red lines, it is clear cut. Once you say, this is it, means this is it. But in administration, it is not that. So many people will influence you, so many people will have complaints. And it is a thankless job. Frankly speaking, administration is a thankless job. So you need to be able to accept all the complaints and be flexible. And then to make people happy, that is the challenge you take. The only plus point I have is, I have taken my family wherever I go. They have seen what I am doing. They understood that the work I am doing is more important than being with them all the time. So that is how I could manage all these years. It's a sacrifice to be away from the family. But after joining ICRC, I am very happy that every three months I can go and see them. 
especially my children. So we never felt that I'm so far away. Be dedicated. Don't work for the money. Be dedicated. Do your job and do it thinking that you are doing it for yourself, not for any organization. And if you, when you do it that way, then it becomes organizational, global needs are fulfilled. Otherwise, it will never happen.